Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Terror Tech with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to the R&D mode, the research and development, which I normally simply call the sandbox mode. In today's episode, we won't be spending too much time here, as we are going to be getting straight back into the campaign in just a moment. But first of all, I would like to clear something up I wasn't very clear with in the previous video, and showcase some Thing I am really, really excited about. Now, normally, I don't like too many spoilers in the game. I like just finding the items and then messing around with them. But, let's have a quick look-see at the thing I was a very, very vague about before. So, this is the large hook, which we've been using quite a lot of in the campaign. And, I would like to just pay a little bit of attention to the fourth connection point. Not on the base, but on the hook section itself. So, that little connection point is really weird right now and really, really broken. So that connection point, which you can still see there, should be able to be used with the lock, which is also in the experimental section, this one here. But as you can see, it simply doesn't work. In fact, every single other block cannot attach to it with one exception the hook itself. You can actually attach a large hook to a large hook, but this itself leads to a problem. And yes, it is the actual hook connection, nothing else connects. And let's see that problem. Ta-da! So right now, the hook just breaks the game if you try and use it in that way, but that is where the lock is meant to go. That's why it's shaped in such a weird way. And sometimes it actually works, and when it works, it's perfect. So, going to have to restart the game now, and then I would like to show two more things, and then we'll get back into the campaign. The first of which is actually a suggestion a lot of you gave in the comment section, which is actually genius. So here is the second thing I would like to show, which a lot of you mentioned, and yes, this is an absolutely genius idea. Why use a hook when you could just use two of the loops? This makes it impossible for the two loops to actually disconnect, and it works surprisingly well. Now, the one issue that does occasionally happen is that, but that always happens with any block, but also, there are the odd moments where the hitboxes kind of glitch, and the thing behind you sort of flies up a little bit. It's really hard to force that to happen, but it happens occasionally. Either way, though, it's not a bad idea at all. And then, the final final thing to show is this. Yep, just that. It's the new ball joints. At least I believe they're the cool... I believe that they are called the ball joints. Apparently I can't speak. Essentially, it's a much better way to connect two different vehicles together. You have the actual holder there, then you can put the ball in the center if you have another vehicle, which you can then connect to axles and all sorts of things, making a really, really easy to use and very secure holding for the vehicle behind, which doesn't look as weird as two loops connected like that. So with that, let's go back into the campaign. What I'm going to do is remove the trailer for now, put it into the save and just put all the parts into storage. And then today's goal is to either find a second loop, because right now we only have one, or to find this new item, the sockets and the... Small balls, in fact. The experimental balls. Because that's what I wanted to say out loud. Here we are, back in the campaign. The trailer is now in storage, and we're going to go out and destroy the enemy squadron, giving us lots of experience and lots of blocks, in addition to a little bit of money, which is really, really good. Now, with the GSO, there is one item I really want, which is their own version of the tank tracks. They're tiny and adorable, and I want them in my life. Though, whilst we're on our way, I do want to quickly talk about one thing, which is why I was using the hook, quote-unquote, upside down the entire last video, which I did explain in the video and in a pinned comment, but since so many people asked, I thought I may as well mention it whilst I'm rather boringly going around this hill, because it's a little bit too steep for even this vehicle. And the reason is, after a lot of testing, that was just the orientation where the loop and the hook were the most stable. After testing out every orientation, after having the hook on the back, on the front, doing all sorts of things with it, 
that was just more stable in more situations, going both up and down hills. It just was as it is. Now, sadly, of course, the problem is in real life, it's not necessarily that way around, which is why people were a bit weirded out by it. Sadly, real life doesn't always come into games all that much. Okay, here we are. I really do need to just make a bigger vehicle soon. I like being this small, but... It's a bit silly. We have... Let's uh, let's have a quick look-see. How many items do we have in terms of just standard blocks? Yeah, 91 regular Geocorp blocks. Absolutely loads of the wheels. We've even got one of the Caterpillar tracks now. We really do need to start upgrading this vehicle. Hello! Um, nobody saw that. That was weird. It kept on breaking without me pressing any buttons. Battery's on medium, so we're going to back off. And, like I was saying, we do need to upgrade the vehicle. Okay, that's good. The first one has now lost its shield, and one of the batteries just blew up, so that was a lot of damage done. Our battery's on two bars, which should be enough to fight off this guy. I think I've just enjoyed not going over the top. Okay, let's put you there. Ahem, put you there. Hello! And this is why I have butt lasers. Don't hurt my SCU. You know, that's just rude. And pop. Oh, fine. Now pop, and you go back up there. Round two defeated, last wave approaching. Uh, come on, let's anchor. Nope, enemies are too close. This is actually gonna be really close. You're made mostly of batteries, thankfully. And you are absolutely tiny. What am I stuck on? Am I stuck on an item? I'm stuck on an item. Did I mention we need to upgrade? Because we sort of do. I just like how it is right now. Hmm. Odds of me flipping? Very high. Aha! We beat the odds! All clear, enemies destroyed. Thank you. Wow, this area really isn't flat at all for us not to be able to anchor even in this mode. Ooh, what's that? Is that one of the ball joint parts? Yes, it is one of the small bearings. We also got a small cap. I'm not quite sure what that's actually for. We also have Jack's septic eye, and we've just broke the game. <laughs> So that is because of the hook we had on the back of this craft. The hook is so glitchy right now. Even when you remove it, sometimes the connection point remains. And I just accidentally connected to it, so... Yeah. Sadly, after the crash, we did have to recomplete this mission. So there we are. First enemy should be down. This is the last one. And... There we go. Different items. Oh no, we still got the Jacksepticeye item. Oh, we got one of the tank tracks this time, though. But apparently we'll always get this. The time where I tried to be sarcastic in the last season and no one got it. Oh, well, we at least have the item back. And what's that? Two-way what now? Explosive bolt. Do explain. A small explosive bolt with two attach points. This block is a single-use item. When attached to a tech, it will self-destruct when the X key is pressed. This allows you to build multiple techs within techs to be converted on the fly without damaging blocks. Oh, that is really cool. And that could be that could be insane later on. Okay, all of you stay there. I need to grab my SCU again, and then we'll continue on. I'm still okay at climbing with this vehicle. It's just so top-heavy now, it's completely imbalanced. And on the bottom, we have the anchor a little bit too low, which is causing us to stick on stuff. I'll be taking all of you, thank you very much. And I'm hoping that heals once I put it back into storage. I'm assuming it does. I can't imagine it keeping track of the health of items. Look how cute that little track is, though. Oh, yeah, as a random aside... What happened to the Tech Hunter mission I had with Hawkeye? 
After looking back at the footage and looking at my reputation of Hawkeye, it definitely finished, and it finished somewhere near here. Oh, it does monitor the health of your items. That's really weird. So we'd have to repair that. It landed there, so I definitely got the items from it. Don't know what items they were, though. What are you? Thimble Collector, you can stay there forever, causing a lag in the future. Uh, got a repair ball there, I think. Few things worth a bob, but I can't be bothered to stay here any longer, so let's continue. I think, though, I'm going to go ahead and grab some more missions. Really, I want to focus on GSO and Venture, both of which can give us the mobile versions of the refinery and the delivery cannon. Also, better get some power before it becomes nighttime. Uh, well, we'll take the GSO Hunter mission because we can do that passively. There we are, Band of Robbers. That's the one we're going to do now, however. Well, sadly, this is night time, so I'm not getting any bonuses for being anchored, but at least I can move nice and quickly in regards to turning, at least, whilst I'm in this mode. Put down the anchored. There we are. Stop shooting the SCU! Bad. Bad Gears 235. And next. Hello. Goodbye. Not really living up to your name there, sir. Oh, look how tiny that little thing is, though. Tiny instantly means cute. It's just the way the world works. Oh, let's move you away. We're playing hide the SCU here, really, aren't we? It's a rather boring game. And then one more. I wonder how many of the GSO Hunter we've done during this. Seven, apparently. Not bad. And after this, we'll do We've Got Hostiles. Today is yet another mission day. Today was going to be building, but I am actually a bit short on time for recording today, sadly. Because life is happening. But I do want to progress. Terratech is just that much of an addictive game. And anything handy? Not really. What are you? No, 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 no. What are you? We'll never know. It looks like an item we have seen before, though. Something too special. Now, you can bugger off. Goodbye. You can go away as well. And then we can go out and do... We've got hostiles. Whilst I was waiting for it to become daytime, I decided to swap out some of the weapons. It was a little bit weird how I placed some of the stuff. I had the lasers at the back, the actual rotating weapons at the front. It was a little bit silly. So I've changed all of those. I've also changed some of the lower end weapons for the pound cannons. And I also have the mortars at the back now. So I should be a little bit stronger. I'm still not a massive fan of the mortars, honestly, but still. Whoa. Well, that's a little happy bundle of guns, isn't it? Can I hit him from here? But he can't hit me. Oh, that's glorious. Since when do mortars track on the way down? Clearly, I have not used mortars enough. I just finished a speech about how I don't like mortars, and then they absolutely wreck. Well, I like being proven wrong when it's beneficial to me. Yeah, the mortars really do track on the way down. Is, is it always been that much? I knew they tracked a little bit, but never that much. Yay, GSO Hunter complete. Let's see what we get. It's landing just there behind us. This guy is a bundle of batteries. That is really worrying, actually. Uh, nothing too special. Just regular Hawkeye stuff. Excuse me, sir. You've lost most of your items. Yep, you are now literally just a bundle of batteries. Oh, you knocked off my lasers. Clearly, my shield needs to be a little bit more forward. Oh, I thought all of your weapons were gone. You are going to go in such an explosion. 
So about there for the mortars. Yep, yep. The mortars seem stronger than they used to be. Maybe I'm just imagining it because I haven't used them all that much. Hello? Anything special? No, we got a nice colourful block and this thing. What's that? Hey, an axle. Okay, so we did get something useful. That is for the new... Hmm. The new connection point. Okay, yeah, the two shields need to be moved one forward each. We're losing our front weapons. Long before we lose our battery. There we are. We now have some more mortars and we have some more battery storage. Hopefully that will be worth it. Now, for the next mission, we could go and do incoming, or we could go out and try and find some more regular missions for GSO and Venture. I think that's the best idea. I really want some of those items before the end of the video. Well, that's good. We now have access to the Hawkeye shotgun. That is actually one of the Hawkeye weapons I was actually interested in. And we have a jump here. That's interesting. Oh my lord, mortars are so much better than I remember. Look at that amount of damage they can do. Just want to watch the mortars, honestly. Oh, did you really lose all of those fans? I guess that's the problem with using so many explosive weapons. We are going to do so much damage to everything we hit and everything around what we hit. We're going to lose everything important. Hmm. It's a shame, but it is also a lot of fun, so I think I will stick with this. Okay, we just finished one of the more easy venture missions, and we now have the mobile delivery cannon and the mobile venture refinery. Which means, when we once again use our trailer, we can actually harvest on the go without having to anchor every single time. The next mission we're doing is Dead Drop. So we are going to be doing some of the Geocorp stuff now because I forgot I want these. So this is when we're going to upgrade our vehicle. It's when we use the Caterpillar tracks. So we do need a few more items because I want that the upgrade to be significant. I don't want to constantly do loads of small upgrades. I would rather suddenly change the tech drastically each time. And will there be enemies? Yes, there will, but thankfully we can anchor. Oh, lordy, okay. I don't know if anchoring was actually a good idea now. Let's kill this guy first. In front okay, we're actually aiming at that guy, aren't we? I forgot the laser's auto-aim. We're going to back off. We are backing off. That laser is doing way too much damage. Now that was an ambush. Mortars, go! Wow, angled mortars are amazing. Maybe maybe building an, an, an anchored and angled bot to use the mortars being fired forwards might be a good idea. Just an idea for the future. Yeah, just standing there allowing all those close quarters weapons was definitely a bad idea. Moving here, definitely a good idea. Okay, you have no real ranged weapon, so you should die pretty quickly to that barrage. Well, most of you died anyway. I believe that Hawkeye actually has an item, so you can choose targets, and I think I really need that. Rather than the auto lock. There we are. Some of the wings survived, so did some of the fans. Perfect. And finally, what is in the crate? Ooh. Oh, there we go. One of the balls, one of the medium. And we also got a medium bearing and... We got a medium axle, so it looks like we're going to be going down the medium route with this. Is that one of the anchored mass SCU? What on earth are you? 
Okay, new item. Are you charged? How long, how long does it take to charge you? That's a weird noise. Wonder how long right? I'm assuming that's longer range than the regular SCU because it takes forever to charge up. Once anchored and given time to start up, this SCU will collect nearby blocks and store them in another dimension to be retrieved through your inventory. The Geocup variant is a very wide grab radius. Yeah, it's getting that over there. A very wide grab radius, but also takes longer to power up. Oh yeah, look at that. On the floor, it shows you how far that can go. That is really cool, and I love that animation. I love all these new items. I'm so happy that the TerraTech dev team are so busy. Hello, floating loop. Once again, though, no venture missions in sight. Every time we seem to actually find these, we don't get the mission for them. It's getting a little bit weird now. Either way, though, we have the unboxing mission, and then we have hooligans. So we are continuing with GSO and with Geocorp. We don't really need Venture as much now anyway, since we already have the mobile refinery and the mobile delivery cannon. Hello there, Stabby. Look, homing mortars. I really like those mortars. Can you tell? I wonder if they'd be any good if I put them on the front facing upwards. I can't imagine so, but you never know. Oh, got a wing. We got a auto miner, an AI, I believe. Yeah, okay. Nothing too special, but at least it was very, very easy. Ooh, what's that? Is that cool? Ooh, what's that? A small cap, again. So what is the small cap for? We never ended up looking at it because of the game crash. A small cap attached to the end of an inverted axle block, block rather, but it can be used wherever you like to. Excellent. In that case, it's going there. Hello, hooligans. How are you doing? There we are. Bit of steel rain for you. Let's put down the new version of the SCU, shall we? Take a bit longer to charge up, but it'll look far cooler as well. Whoa, you kind of exploded. I'm assuming that kill that really didn't kill you. I was going to be a bit surprised there. Maxed out with Geocorp, so now we can purchase anything from them when it's actually in stock. And police ads left. Ooh, what's that as well? Toe ring type 2, that's fine. And you are... Right, darn it. So I believe now we have two of the right track, unless I'm wrong, which I'm really hoping I am. No, let me look what we got. Yeah, we have two of the right track, darn it. Well, that was a pretty easy fight for some spare items. So I've changed the wheels, added a bit more armor, added some more batteries, added some more weapons... And hopefully this will be acting a little bit better. I'm not quite sure how well these wheels do at climbing, but I've got a little bit sick of the older versions. And now we are once again going north. And yes, this does go against the thing I said maybe only a couple of minutes ago. That I didn't want to do loads of tiny upgrades. Well, I thought this one was pretty necessary. And honestly, I was getting a bit bored of the old design. So why not, eh? Then in the next few episodes, we're going to do some major upgrades because we've had the items for a long time to make a much better, much larger tech. Best trading station ever. We now have the most important part we were missing, the medium socket. We can also get the pole as well, so I think we have every item we could possibly need. I'll just grab some spare stuff just in case. I may as well also grab the... Smaller axle and such. Yep, we have everything. Awesome. Now in Geocorp, do we have the tracks? Yes, we do. Lovely. A little bit smaller than I thought they'd be, but still absolutely fantastic getting one of those. Um, is there anything else I could really want? Yep, I would want one of those as well. Getting everything we need at the moment. Let's put down one of our two SCUs. 
Where are you, SCU? I know you're here somewhere. There we are. And is there anything else we need? That's the question. Uh, nothing there. Still no second hoop, sadly. Pack collector. A middle range small collector. Good armor, but has mid-level range and capacity. Okay. Nothing from Venture, except for the Tailwing I'll grab. And... Do I really want another right track? Go on, then we'll grab another one of those as well. And that is it. Okay, so... Let's see how this actually works, then. With the ball joint. So... Where's the holder? Okay. So, once again, it doesn't really matter which why I do this. I'm just going to test out how they actually attach to each other. So obviously this isn't the finished version. Just going to put the holder on the front vehicle to make it a little bit easier on myself. Now the thing is, I'm fairly certain that in real life, I'll look it up after the video, just to make sure, we have it something like this and then the ball itself goes inside. But that seems a little bit difficult with how the connection points are. Well, there we are. Would you look at that? Oh, that is so much better. That is so, so much better than the hooks. Still an absolute nightmare to reverse, but that's understandable. So with the bearings there, sorry, with the axles, we could also try and build with those. So we have the medium axle here, then we have the medium bearing. Of course, the medium bearing will go in the center there. Okay, so there's a lot we can still experiment with, but either way, this is just so much better. It's going to take up more space than the hooks, but that's so much more secure, and I can't imagine that falling out anyway. In fact, yeah, I don't think it's even possible. So the only thing left to do now is upgrade the trailer, upgrade the main vehicle, add all of the mobile stuff, and we are good to go. But for now, I'm afraid I am all out of time for today's episode. The next episode will have a lot more building and upgrading our vehicles, hopefully making them look significantly better, along with simply acting significantly better. So, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff, help Helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that TerraTech is a series you wish to see continued in the future. I am so, so happy we have this now. The trailer dream lives on. It's not a dream to have, but a good one. Thank you again, and goodbye.